I uh, love coffee. So this morning, I'm getting set up for my next React video, and then I get a text message from my beautiful wife. Amazing, she's just incredible, but she says, please don't forget to change the exhaust fan over today. Ah. <sighs> So, here's the problem. I bloody hate doing domestic stuff. <laughs> like, I got out of it ages ago, and this is about as easy as it can get. So, instead of doing a React video today, we're gonna be oh. doing an exhaust fan changeover. I'll hopefully enjoy it. I don't think I will. Exhaust fan on. Sounds all right. Sort of saying this morning that it was, like, squealing. No. Alright, it's buggered. Let's change it over. Okay, step one to fix exhaust fan. Grab insulated ladder. And if you don't have an insulated one, don't worry about it. Step two, coffee. Step three, set up ladder in a dry, suitable location. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look how gross that is. All right, tip number one is that you might need to turn this around till it clicks in on some of these brands, but otherwise you can just kind of pull it down like that. Now I'll have some clips on the outside and it should just come down just like that. Yummy. Mmm. All right, so she's looking pretty manky up here. I mean, look at the screws. Yeah, they're fully rusted. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, before we begin, I've got one step. Means power. Oh. All right, so whenever you're working with electrical stuff, just it's a really good idea, just turn off the main switch. Here we're not gonna be working with any live electrical stuff, it's actually just a plug and socket, but it's always just a really, really good idea to do it. Okay, power is now off, let's get cracking. Ugh, that is the bearing that sits on top. No good. <laughs> Okay, so what you want to do, if possible, is find the nameplate and uh, take a photo of that nameplate. Alright, let's get this sucker down and uh, like I said before, it's just directly connected to a socket. And most of them are a plug-in socket these days, so you've got no issues whatsoever with, uh, with live electrical stuff. But, check this out. Like I said before, you have no idea what is in the roof, right? Here is some electrical cables that could have been nicked by the fan, but now it's off, so uh, we don't need to worry about it. It's like looped around. I have to get the crap one. That's why I hate domestic. I really don't want to get another ladder. I really don't. But I gonna reach out. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Look at that. Look at that. Super important, before we go anywhere, get your trusty tape. Measure up exactly what the whole diameter is. It's about 290. Perfect. All right, so before you guys go rushing out of Bunnings or Lowe's or whatever you have over in the US, first, Go and check it on the computer. All right, over to the workstation and I've uh, got a bit going on here. Actually, you might find this interesting. I've got a video coming up on the dangers of vault sticks. Also, this uh, IoT company sent me their Captus device to do some testing. Uh, might be a video coming up on that one. I bought a drone the other day, which uh, I've taken some shots of a video I've been making for a couple of months now. It is going to be sick. And also, this is the Fluke uh, thermometer that I got the other day with the... Um, the mystery box reveal that I'm gonna be doing a video on. So there's like heaps of stuff going on at the moment for this channel. And I just wanted to thank everybody who has been supporting me because I've now reached 5,000 subs, which is super cool. And I'm loving engaging and chatting with everyone. So thank you so much. All right, now let's check out if we can find a fan. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out the nameplate sticker thing. Uh, it says it's an HCM cat, uh, uh, blah, blah, whatever. Yeah, I don't think we need that crap. Let's just type in uh, Bunnings 250 millimeter exhaust fan. And the reason that I'm, yeah, the first one comes up. The reason I'm doing this is because 
usually a lot of these hardware store websites will tell you whether they're in stock. I mean, using your noodle. Come on, guys. We've got a few here. Uh, the Delta. Ooh, Delta, baby. <laughs> I'm looking for dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. So let's go down. This Arlec looks, uh, looks pretty sweet. It plugs in. It has a motor. Uh, this is interesting, actually. See the cutout? It said the cutout before. 290 millimeters. Exactly what we have with the cutout, which is what you want. All right, set my store. Select store. Mm. We are in stock, baby. Let's do it. Aha, Bunnings, I made it. Yes, uh, but it's pissing down rain, so uh, let's do it. So I found them in this aisle down here, but, uh, oh, here we go. I don't know how people on YouTube do it. Like I just had to do two shots. I walked here, put the phone down. I mean, I look like an idiot. Hey mate. I have to say customer service at Bunnings, amazing. The staff are just super friendly. I love that place. Anyway, I've got my exhaust fan um, and this is not really a review except for the fact that I can't actually believe that they can make something for this cheap. It's just insane to me. Anyway, all right, let's open it up. Oh, receipt. A 250 mil ceiling exhaust fan. I mean, what else can you say? I do kind of like these little things. These just kind of like push in and out. Otherwise, let's just install it. <sighs> I'm just gonna feel the way around. Usually they're a bit easier than this. You beauty. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Right, that was a tricky bit. Now we just take the cover off. Make sure all these clamps are pushed in. Easy peasy. Stick it in the roof. Just push that up and click. You know what, this is actually not too bad. Feeling a sense of achievement here today. Beautiful. You beauty, let's give it a crack. And, oh, so nice. You know, as much as I was hating having to do this install, it was actually pretty fun. But you know what else is more fun? Electrician Reacts. And you, you might just learn some stuff and, and have some fun with me. Get down from this stupid thing. God damn, I hate domestic stuff.